in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome as we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today. We begin by calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord's mercy and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the gate along the river where we thought there were, would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the woman who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Tyratira, a worshiper of God, listened, and the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Her response is, Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with tremble and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. Alleluia. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Spirit of Truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me, and you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you will remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, taking time to listen to another is a very important quality and a wonderful quality. 
It's not easy because so often we want to hear ourselves and we've got to get our two cents in. But today in our first reading, we are given a good example of someone who listened. Lydia, the dealer in purple cloth, really listened to what Paul had to say. She opened herself up not only to his words, but to his witness. And then after she and her household uh, were baptized, she welcomed Paul and his companion in his companions into her home and to share their table with them. Wonderful example of hospitality. In a very true sense, she allowed the Holy Spirit to enter her heart. At times we fail to listen or pay attention to others. We put up walls to shield our inner lives. We we try to protect our time, our space, our ideals. And in the process, we close ourselves off from growth in our lives. Like Lydia, when we open ourselves up to others and to God, we receive graces beyond all telling. Hospitality, listening to people and welcoming them is an Easter virtue that has come alive in our lives. We now have our prayers of the faithful. And our response will be, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us offer our needs to the Lord, trusting in his goodness and mercy. For Pope Francis, <clears throat> all bishops, priests, and deacons, may they, like Paul, be fueled by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as they preach the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, may the Holy Spirit enliven the hearts of all believers and help us proclaim the good news of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have lost their way, may God help them hear, to hear his voice and follow his path. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may God give us perseverance as we continue on our own journeys of evangelization. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they experience the peace and joy of the heavenly kingdom. For Joseph and City, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are ill at this time. May God keep them in his loving care. Let us pray to the Lord. Which is the Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you met the needs of the first apostles through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Answer the prayers we bring to you today, which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Administrate this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, 
and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Arthur, our Bishop, and Kevin, our Bishop-elect, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, 
in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. <clears throat> Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Together now we pray the act of spiritual communion. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are, that you are present, present in the Blessed Sacrament. sacrament. I, I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since, Since I cannot, cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries, 
may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. And have a very pleasant day today.